hear the name Horace Copeland, many will think football. But tonight, Copeland is recognized for his outstanding accomplishments in track and field. Former Hurricanes track coach Rodney Price remembers. You know, Horace, you know, we, I watched him play football and a number of things, and we visited with him and talked to him. And this first year I was at the University of Miami, uh, he couldn't compete because he wanted to develop in football. But he came back out the, the, the following spring, and he promised me he would. And, of course, you know, uh, a lot of people promise you that, but Horace came through his promise and did come out for traction the following year. Copeland excelled in many events. In the 1992 Big East track meet, Copeland won the 100 meters and the long jump while anchoring the winning relay team in the 4x100 meters and more. He was a, a high jumper, a great high jumper. He jumped, you know, close to seven foot in the high jump pretty close. Uh, in the long jump, he jumped over mid-26s and, uh, you know, in the 100 meter, he won the Big East championship in 100 meter and he, he anchored the 4x1 and actually he could have ran anywhere from the 100 through the 400, if, yeah, but, uh, you know, he was only one person and we didn't want to kill him, you know, as it was with all, with all his talents. But so he was just a super fantastic track and field athlete, along with a great football player. On the football field, Copeland started every game for two seasons and was a member of the 1991 National Championship team. The competitive spirit he brought to the football field also carried over to track and field with a fellow Hurricanes teammate. He also placed second in the high jump, and he only placed second because teammate, his teammate Lamar Thomas won the event. Uh, we had another high jumper in the event, but when I got the ride, the high jump was, was out of competition. His name was Adam. Horace and Lamar both cleared the bar, but the other high jumper in the event didn't clear it. And Adam said, didn't you know, coach? I said, no what? He said, Horace and Lamar intimidated those high jumpers. They told them if they cleared the next bar, that's, that's, they, they better not clear the next bar. So I said, oh my goodness. So uh, Lamar gets first, uh, Ole Miss and Horace get second. So. They come to the fish, I'm congratulating Lamar and Horace, and uh, I says to him, I says, you guys know better than that. You can't intimidate people in track and field. That's not uh, considered uh, ethics in track and field to intimidate people like that. And Lamar said, Coach, we didn't know. We didn't know that's what we do in football. For his excellence in many events and two sports, tonight we welcome Horace Copeland into the University of Miami Sports Hall of Fame.